Hello, I am Jeronimo Farré, and on behalf of Professor Wellens and myself, I will present you this video on an infrequent form of Narocuris tachycardia. This is the first video of a series that uh, will be developed uh, on narrow tachycardias. We are going to discuss uh, the case of a 28-year-old young lady with a history of uh, recurrent undocumented palpitations. She was admitted for an electrophysiological study and being on the ward, she developed a pounding feeling on her chest and neck pulsations. We obtain a 12 lead electrocardiogram and in this slide we compare it with the electrocardiogram obtained during sinus rhythm. So the question that we ask you in this case is what do you think of the situation during the current electrocardiogram? Do you think it's a panic attack in the wandering atrial pacemaker or is it a permanent junctional reciprocating tachycardia or an atrial tachycardia or a slow, slow AV nodal reentry tachycardia or a slow, fast uh, AV nodal reentry tachycardia. We are going to share with you the results of a survey uh, during an interactive voting session that took place during an Airpace Congress a couple of years ago, in which uh, 311 people responded to the very same quiz. As you can see here, 44%, that was the majority of the replies, thought that we were uh, dealing with a natural tachycardia. The rest of the options obtain much uh, lower percentages. As you can see, the cycle length of our test rhythm was 640 milliseconds, corresponding to a ventricular rate of 94 beats per minute. So it was not a real tachycardia, or if you wish, it was a rather slow tachycardia. We also identified P waves that uh, uh, are negative in lead A3, that uh, are almost in the middle of the cycle and that have a duration of 70 milliseconds, not a very wide uh, duration, rather narrow. The PR interval was 280 milliseconds, the RP time 360 milliseconds. So the question that we can ask uh, ourselves is, are we dealing with an a long RP tachycardia? When we look at the 12 DCG, we appreciate that the P wave is almost in the middle of the cycle. So please keep thinking in this way, almost in the middle of the cycle. The key electrocardiographic points in a case like uh, this one are the identification during a relatively slow tachycardia at a rate uh, below 120 beats per minute or with a cycle length above 500 milliseconds of negative inferior P waves that are almost in the middle of the cycle. In this electrocardiographic scenario, you should think of an AV nodal reentry tachycardia with a 2 to 1 atrioventricular relation or better to say, a 2 to 1 block distal to the lower common pathway of the tachycardia and with one retrograde P wave uh, visible in the middle of the cycle and the other P waves hidden inside the QRS complex. A few seconds after having obtained the recording shown on panel B, the patient experienced a spontaneous acceleration of the arrhythmia which is shown in panels C. Panel C, therefore, is the 12 lead ECG during this fast uh, tachycardia that uh, the patient spontaneously developed a few seconds later. Note that the cycle length of this tachycardia was 320 milliseconds, exactly 50% of what the cycle length was during the arrhythmia illustrated in panel B that we have been discussing so far. The patient underwent 
an electrophysiological study during which we induced uh, several episodes of tachycardia. In this slide, we show one of such inductions. We display two surface electrocardiographic leads and several intracardiac uh, recordings. As you can see, we are pacing the right atrium with a driving cycle length of 500 milliseconds, and we introduce an atrial extra stimulus with a premature beat interval of 310 milliseconds, and this uh, atrial extra stimulus elicits uh, the tachycardia. The AH interval uh, following this atrial premature impulse is uh, rather long, and uh, results in an atrial echo uh, that uh, was recorded inside the QRS uh, complex uh, that uh, was produced by the preceding impulse. These findings are consistent with the common uh, slow, fast uh, AV nodal re-entry tachycardia. Following another induction, we observed a situation in which there were two atrial electrograms per uh, QRS complex. We see that uh, one impulse was conducted to the ventricles, while the other impulse was uh, not uh, conducted to the ventricles, was blocked. And we appreciate that the site of block in this case was distal to the his because there was a his bundle potential that uh, preceded the blocked uh, impulse. On the right, we represent uh, the mechanism of tachycardia that was a common, a slow, fast AV nodal re-entry tachycardia with one impulse conducted to the ventricles and the other impulse blocked uh, distal to the his in the uh, bundle branch uh, system. This is a scenario of common slow fast AV nodal re-entry tachycardia with 2 to 1 a block distal to the his can be observed at the initiation of some AV nodal re-entry tachycardias with a fast uh, rate. The take-home message in this case is that in a relatively slow, regular, narrow tachycardia, the presence of a negative P wave in the inferior leads that are almost in the middle of the cycle and that have a duration of less than 80 milliseconds, suggesting the simultaneous activation of both atria, we should think of the possibility of a slow, fast AV nodal re-entry tachycardia with a 2 to 1 atrioventricular relation. Thank you very much for your attention.